Hello, I'm Victoria Fritz. Let's take a look at how markets in Europe have ended the trading session today. And European equities actually rallied quite a lot today. Wall Street has been just about holding on to its latest energy-inspired rebound. You can see the Dow at the moment up about 35 points. Some investors, however, are on edge after China's stock market suffered its worst retreat in a month overnight. The Shanghai Composite plunged 6.4% following a heavy burst of profit-taking. Let's take a quick look at some of the big market movers here in the UK. And we're going to start with this one. This is Lloyd's. You can see shares up more than 13% at the close of play, talking up the economic recovery today. Now, given that the bank handles about one in four small business accounts and about one in five of our current accounts, it's actually got pretty good visibility on our finances. Uh, the bank is also paying out an extra dividend to shareholders. You can see why they were happy today. Uh, moving on, let's talk about British American tobacco. We've just sort of uh, shortened it a little bit to fit on the screen. Uh, a little bit of a puff taken out of the figures today because of the currency headwinds facing the company. It still bumped up its full year dividend, though. It also says it's appointed a law firm to investigate allegations of bribery in Africa. That was a BBC uh, investigation that went on last year. And let's have a quick look at BT as well. Shares up more than 4.5% at the end of the day after the regulator Ofcom rejected an outright split of its broadband networks business open reach. The regulator did, however, tell BT that it must open its network further to competitors like Sky and Vodafone and provide a better service to them as well. Uh, we've had months of investigations and bitter accusations between all the rival telecoms firms on this story. Uh, to talk through all of this, let's hear from Russ Mould. He's the investment director at AJ Bell. He joins us now. Uh, Russ, let's start with BT. At the moment, we're not going to see other networks uh, having to come in and, and build their own uh, fibre networks and cables. But isn't that really in the consumer's interest anyway? Otherwise, we just have our roads constantly being dug up for extra Lloyd's Banking Group. An extra dividend is going to be paid out to shareholders. Some very interesting comments from the boss of Lloyd's uh, when it comes to the UK economic recovery. Is his confidence... And finally, let's talk about British American Tobacco. They were blaming currency headwinds uh, for what was going Going on with their numbers today. Now, over the past few days, we've been talking about sterling and the fact that it's at a seven year low against the dollar. Can you explain what currency headwinds does to a company in terms of its profitability for a UK business? Sure. Well, thank you very much thank for you, your time. Victoria. Now, over in the U.S., the Wall, Street, uh, the Wall Street is actually really rallying today, but something that sort of caught our uh, eye today was actually something in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, the big banks are actually really slashing their outlook for oil. They see that prices are recovering uh, a lot slower, actually, than previously anticipated. A survey of the big 13 investment banks think that this, Brent crude, you can see at the bottom, is going to average about $39 a barrel in the future, down about $11 a barrel from the last survey they had back in January. At the moment, it's hovering at about $33 a barrel. So we'll keep an eye on all of this for you. Don't forget, plenty more news on the website. The place to find it, of course, is bbc.co.uk forward slash business. That's it from me. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you very much. And uh, that is uh, nearly it from me as well. But let's just uh, give you a sense of some of the things that are coming up here in the next little while.